Hi, Soul Family. This is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a general collective read for the star sign Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. I hope everybody has been doing well, taking care of themselves, staying hydrated, eating a healthy, balanced diet, um, exercising, taking opportunity to spend time with family, loved ones, um, meditating, just being overall in a good state of mind. Mm. Okay, Cancer. As you know, I cuss, I talk shit in my videos. So if this offends anybody, I'm not the reader for you. So please click off. No harm, no foul. Also, um, as we know, time is fluid. So this could be past, present, and future energies. Take what resonates, what doesn't. Just fuck it. It wasn't time for you. Check your um, moon or your rising, your Mercury or your Venus, um, north node, south node, any of those. Um, also, the energies can be reversed. This could be you or your person. This goes for same-sex relationships and divine counterparts. Um, anything that I did not mention um, now, it may show up in the um, reading throughout the video. Um, anything that you want to know about me and my channel will be listed in the description box below the video. So let's get to it. Y'all guys, you know that I use um, the Illuminati Tarot in order to pull the energies for your uh, reading. So I have the Sun card, which is Leo energy. I have the Two of Cups, that's you, um, Cancer. Um, I have the Star card, that's Aquarius energy. I have the Nine of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck, I have Justice, Libra. So some of you are finally realizing that there is a cancer, um, could be another cancer with uh, Leo in their chart, but um, a Leo that makes you happy, that brings you uh, wish fulfillment. You want to heal this situation with your soulmate because this is your soulmate. And for some of you, this is your divine counterpart. You could be having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of stress concerning maybe some way how either you treated them or they treated you in the past. But justice has been served in this situation. Um, the Archangel Oracle decks, um, the Archangel Oracle deck and the Oracle decks that I have on the board are saying that you have a thanking woman. So someone may have to determine whether or not cancer that they want you back in their life. This could be you or your person. But 47 is 11, so that's half of the twin flame, and that's also um, a master number. We have purification. So some of you um, may be called to purify yourselves, and some of you may be able to do it with rainwater. But um, you have a soulmate, so you definitely uh, know that this is your soulmate. Archangel Michael is saying you can do it. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So some of you could have been hurt by another person that you were involved with. Now you're ready to reconcile and work things out, possibly with a Leo. Or um, this could have been the person that hurt you and you guys want to fix this relationship. But somebody could have been immature in the past. I'm also feeling this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is the deck that I'm going to read from. Um, someone could have been uh, watching you or you could have been watching them, Cancer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all of the Oracle decks, save for the Romance Oracle, because I'm going to pull some um, energy from that deck to see what is uh, the start of your reading. And I also have a little smaller deck here that is called the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. It is a beautifully illustrated guide um, or deck. And I have here um, the Four of Earth. So we're going to look up what the Four of Earth means. Okay, we have commitment, stability, reliability, steady progress, endurance, perseverance, stoicism, slow and steady progress, one step at a time, fear and doubt, slow forward, momentum, 
Do not falter, rest and recharge a good outcome ahead. Do not make hasty decisions and watch for careless errors. So this is the four of earth. Here we go. Just in case you guys didn't get a chance to see it. I love the illustrations on these cards. They're very beautiful. So we're going to slide that to the side and I'm going to go ahead and get started with the romance oracles and find out what love messages we have for cancer. So the first card that I saw that came out is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So some of you may have um, some type of addiction, um, sexual addictions, drinking addictions, drug addictions. Someone could um, be addicted to working too much, shopping too much, spending too much. Anything you do in an excess could be an addiction. Um, eating too much is what I'm hearing too. Um, there is passion here, definitely. <clears throat> Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you know that this person makes you happy, Cancer, or vice versa. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So some of you are still possibly healing right now, healing these codependency um, issues or addictions that are affecting you, um, not allowing you to come forward and uh, letting someone know how you truly feel and care about them. So we're going to slide those out of the way and I am going to get started and see what we pull. So what are the messages for some of you are definitely um, could be dealing with a Gemini. Others of you, you could have a, you could have a Gemini in your chart, you or your person or you both could. Um, you also could be in a divine counterpart, a divine connection. So some of you um, are missing your person. You could be wanting to come into union with this person. But you cannot come into union if you have codependency and toxic issues. The divine has pulled you to the side because you need to get uh, clarity and guidance. They need to activate your crown chakra so you can see some things. So you have been uh, timed out in a situation. Excuse me for one second. You guys need to go to bed because you can't control yourselves. Good night. The star card. Um, we have the star card twice here. So some of you definitely are going through a healing stage in your life at this present time. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart um, or you both could. Some of you are um, renewing um, a situation with someone. You're wanting to definitely heal this situation with your person. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So you could want to come in and start again with this person and offer them um, some type of gift, maybe a date, a night out or a trip, vacation, car, whatever. But you're wanting to come in, but it's going to be a slow moving offer. You're not moving fast because I feel like you're still in healing mode from something that previously took place. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this could have been a karmic lesson that you were learning in order to clear up any karmic energy between you and your divine counterpart or your soulmate before you could come forward and offer stability to this person. And there is temperance and balance in this situation. So Archangel Michael is here to assist you, or some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. I would say definitely for those of you, you may want to check your North Node and South Node because I have Gemini here. I have Sagittarius here. So those are definitely nodes. I have the King of Wands. So yeah, you definitely could have been dealing with a Leo. Um, you may want to come to this person. This person could definitely be standing in their power. 
male or female, um, because they're looking at the offer, but you notice this is a king and this is a knight. So I don't think the king may accept your offer, or though they could, but they're willing to listen from the looks of it. And yes, this definitely is a soulmate. This is a high level uh, divine counterpart relationship for some of you. And for others of you, this is going to be a soulmate. Someone from your past. This could be for those that are um, dealing with soulmates. You could be someone from your past, um, maybe as early as grade school. Um, the same for the divine counterparts or either someone from a past life. I have... Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Cancer, you're definitely showing up in your reading, not once, but twice. I have the star card twice. I have, um, the two of cups twice here. So this is definitely someone from your past that you want to reunite with, or they, you, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the six of cups. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the magician. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries or wanting an Aries or wanting to manifest an Aries back. But I feel like there was a point in time where um, cancer, you may have treated someone poorly. Um, you allowed your uh, pride and ego to get in the way and you are healing um, your pride and ego in this situation. Um, you could be very emotional at this time. You could have been suppressing your emotions where this person was concerned because your pride and ego was in the way of this situation. So you are healing that portion of yourself because it caused you to uh, self-sabotage is what I'm hearing. Not the You defeated your person, but you self-sabotage this situation as well is what I'm hearing. There could be blockages and delays in, oh, the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you could have dealt with um, someone that could have um, treated you in the same way is what I'm getting. And here you are at the bottom of the deck, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you may have matured and are ready to um, show up as a king towards a king. Or queen, it doesn't matter. Um, someone could definitely be in their masculine energy and you could definitely be balanced in your energy. But I feel like there are some delays. Um, there could be some setbacks. Um, your chakras could still be out of alignment is also what I'm hearing too before you can come forward to offer this gift. And I feel like you're offering a tentative gift. It's kind of like, let me check our temperature or his temperature to see if they will accept my gift. Um, some of you are fearing that someone may not accept your offer in a situation. We have the Eight of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this was Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo on the Seven of Pentacles. So someone... Um, wants to communicate, either you want to communicate to a Leo or a Leo wants to communicate with you by phone call, text message, email, any social media platform. We have the emperor has shown up. So there's either an Aries or a Taurus in the situation. Someone wants to come in and take control of a situation. Um, emperors rule empires and nations. So this is a person that is very familiar with um, taking control in a situation, either you or them. But I feel like this is not you, Cancer. I feel like this is the person that you could be dealing with. Um, somebody is showing up in their emperor energy. This could be an empress um, in her divine masculine energy for divine counterparts. And we have the nine of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So somebody definitely either wants wish fulfillment in a situation. 
and could be leaving a situation in order to get that wish fulfillment. Either you or your person. I have the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and I have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you've been stressed out enough about this situation and it is time for you to take action and it appears that you're going to take action, Cancer. You're going to step off either you or your person. There could have been an emperor that walked away from you too. Let's see if I can get this to come down. Bear with me, guys. You could have walked away from an emperor, someone that could have been controlling. This could have been a soulmate to you. Um, someone could have um, been holding on to someone in a situation. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, somebody could have been, I'm hearing either you were holding on to your person too tightly for finances or vice versa. And some of you could have been married to this person. But somebody stepped back from this. Somebody wanted commitment and somebody was like, no, nah, I don't, I'm, I'm not committing to something. And they were ready to cut it out. They got truth and clarity in the situation. Some of you could have been dealing with a Taurus or have it in your chart or your person could but I'm feeling like you stepped away from, you closed your heart off to a committed relationship or something that was higher level. And for others of you, this could be you resisting your ascension to um, come into union with your divine counterpart because you still have not completed all the work that is needed to do is what I'm being told for some of you. And y'all could be dealing with, um, the, I smell third party in this situation too. So some of you could definitely be dealing with, um, an air sign. And I feel like this air sign may, um, have Libra in their chart or you have it in your chart or you both, you could possibly be dealing with someone that could be in the legal field, a judge, a lawyer, You intuitively know, Cancer, for some of you, that you are being called. I have the high priestess and the high priest on the board. You're definitely in a divine connection for some of you. But others, um, for you, some of you are denying it. You're rejecting it. You're pushing it away. You don't want the divine connection. Something about it frightens you. I just got finished saying something frightens you. You're afraid to love. You're afraid to receive love in the highest form in its truest form is what I'm getting out of this. You could have been wounded in the past. Someone could have hurt you, could have been an Aquarius that hurt you, but you're ready to come back in. You want to offer this love, but you're scared to either you're afraid that this person is going to reject your offer cancer or um, you're still healing from rejection of an offer, but you want your ships. You, you made a decision. I'm sorry. You made a decision about this. You chose, um, possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have the chariot, I have the king of swords, I have the three of wands, I have the two of swords, and I have the king of pentacles, and I have the six of pentacles. So cancer, <clears throat> you're, 
you could possibly still be healing under the Aquarius to come forward with this offer. I have the Page of Pentacles twice here. So you could be at a distance from this person, but you want to come and visit this person to give them um, an offer. You have made a head over heart decision regarding this person and you want your ships to come in where this offer is concerned. But maybe there's something that you're still not cl seeing clearly. Either you or your person. Um, there could be somebody that is very smug, very arrogant. Um, that could be still dealing uh, one-sidedly in a relationship. This could cause stress and burdens. Um, <clears throat> Ten of Wands. But I'm feeling like this is past energy. That you could have been dealing with somebody that treated you or either you treated your person unfairly in a situation. It was a one-sided situation. Someone was getting crumbed and someone felt like this was too much. This was too much of a stress and burden for them. So they dropped it. They backed up. Their fallback game got real strong. Either you or your person. Yeah, your fire sign got truth and clarity in a situation. Somebody got tired of feeling stuck and trapped in a situation, either you or your person. Someone could have been dealing with a karmic soulmate. Could have been Aries or someone that had fire in their chart. This could have been someone that you worked with cancer or um, your person, but I feel strongly this was more your energy cancer. You worked with a soulmate. For others of you, your uh, divine masculine worked with a karmic soulmate and there was a lot of lies, competition, and deceit in this situation. This person pitted you against your divine masculine. If I'm picking up the energies correctly, this is not going to resonate for everybody, but your divine masculine compared you to his karmic soulmate. And it caused you to take a leap of faith. Some of you felt like a fool in this situation too. Now your divine masculine feels like a fool. And for others of you, this is someone that you had a lot of conflict in this situation and it definitely caused you to walk away. Some of you could have felt left out in the cold in this situation because somebody was in and out of your life. Somebody was very sexually active. Somebody had sexual addictions. Um, some of you could have ended up becoming homeless in this situation. Cancer, either you became homeless in this situation or your person became homeless in this situation. I feel like some of you lost your jobs, your cars, your home, everything, everything. This was a major awakening for either you, cancer, or your person. And this could have been in the past, is the energy I'm picking up on this. And this was all to feed your addictions, cancer. You or your person, somebody was more concerned with status quo I want someone, your person that was karmic, the karmic soulmate could have made good money, may have been more attractive than your person and you chose them over your actual soulmate or your divine masculine or feminine is what I'm getting. And they walked away to their spiritual awakening. For some of you, this could have gone back as far as the Lion's Gate in 2017 is what I'm getting. Someone was very childish, very immature. There could have been some nasty communication. Someone could have been offering love in other places. Um... A cycle was closed out in this situation. Someone definitely became single and stood up for themselves in this situation. And this could have been in a long-term committed relationship. 
And for others of you, this was your divine feminine or your divine masculine standing up for themselves in this situation. They weren't getting the commitment that they wanted, so they walked away. Some of your counterparts were forced to walk away because you pushed them out of your life. Either you did this to them, Cancer, or they did this to you. Good Lord. It caused someone to retreat and go within like the hermit to get clarity and guidance in a situation. Someone wanted love with someone from their past. What they got was harsh treatment and childish behavior. There could have been a lot of conflict in the long term. Uh, there could have been conflict in the long term love relationship. Um, someone was working very hard to level up in this situation to get their finances together is what I'm being told, but they still were worried and stressed out and anxious in a situation. For others of you, there could have been where somebody got a sexually transmitted disease and now you're worried because you need the outcome of this situation. Some of you um, manifested this situation. Others of you need to see the doctor to get your results. <clears throat> could have been dealing with another water sign like yourself, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone was very emotional in this situation. They needed to gain their strength or you could have been dealing with a Leo or have it in your chart to go through this cycle because this was a harsh lesson for somebody. There was temperance and balance that was being called in as well. Somebody went through something that was hurtful. And I'm smelling not just the addictions, but somebody's treatment. Someone treated someone like they would always be there. They took this person for granted. Either cancer, you did this to your person or your person did this to you. Someone got tired of being rejected. Somebody got tired of being defeated in a situation. Somebody uh, called judgment in the situation could have been you, Cancer, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could have been your person. Um, somebody wants to reconcile in the situation. Somebody could be trying to heal their heart chakra because there was definitely this could be why the delays are here, Cancer. Either you or your person is healing their heart chakra from a third party situation. This is why I said some of you, the delays could be not only financial or blockages, but there could be a chakra that is out of alignment. And others of you um, were dealing with somebody that was very deceptive, um, very uh, deceitful, um, hid money, lied about money. Um, just wasn't an honest person overall. And it was just too stressful. It was too many burdens. I've got two, um, two tens in my face now. So some of you could have seen 10, 10 in the past. And it definitely caused somebody to eight of cups, walk into an, a spiritual awakening. Cause that's a spiritual awakening. Someone had, they went through a major tower moment. This was a painful ass walking away situation. Someone had to go through a painful ascension. Their twin or your soulmate or you caused a great deal of pain in how someone treated someone is what I'm getting. Yeah. Cancer, you could have been dealing with an emperor, somebody that is very authoritative, someone that could be older than you. Um, this person could be wiser, um, older but wiser, but does not have to be. This person could be, um, they can have their own business. This person could be married. They don't have to be married. They could have jits, don't have to. They could be in a long-term committed relationship. 
They could um, give wise counsel. I'm also hearing that for some of you cancers, you could have been dealing with a um, Aries or a Taurus and you walked away from this person. At the bottom of the deck, I feel like you were blindsided the way you blindsided your person or vice versa. You didn't see it coming because there was so much hidden about a third party situation that somebody walked away from. Somebody definitely walked away from a third party situation. Look at this. Third party, third party. Somebody definitely wants something to come together though. That I do feel off of this as well. But there was definitely third party action. I'm hearing sister wives, that type shit action. And somebody was like, I'm not fucking having it. You want a sister wives? You bring some sister dicks up in here so I can get my fuck on too, if that's the case. But um, that's the energy I'm getting off the reading. That's some fuck shit right there I just heard, and I don't like that. But um, yeah, somebody walked away from somebody that was inconsistent, a juggler, a liar, and somebody that would not take any action. This person could have thought that they was trapped in this situation, couldn't get out of it. This was only in your head. So somebody gained truth and clarity in this situation could have been dealing with somebody that's from the legal field. Some of you cancers could have been married. Some of you are going through a divorce. This shit was very toxic, codependent. You could have definitely been dealing with somebody that was a karmic for others of you and divine counterparts that are um, learning lessons and going through ascension process. Um, this is the codependency. This is the toxic toxicity. This is the sexual addictions, my alcohol addiction, my gambling addictions, drug addictions. There was a massive shakeup in this shit. Somebody was offering love to multiple people and it could have been a queen of pentacles involved, but somebody's pride and ego got in the way in this situation and someone's poor treatment of someone else thinking that the grass was greener basically on the other side and they found out that shit wasn't what it was. So we're going to go ahead and start putting some oracle messages on your reading. The romance angels for guidance and advice and love. So can you give me some guidance and love for my cancers, please? It is saying trust. And I knew this map. This I saw that shit too. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present relationship or your present moment. Um, deception. Someone is wearing, wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This is what I was talking about when I was referring to the five of swords, self-deception. So there's someone that self-sabotaged this relationship, Cancer, either you or your person, and this requires trust. This situation is calling you to have faith in this situation. So what else we got, babies? Let's see. And hmm, pay attention to the red flags. Wanted to come out and let y'all know something too. Signs are cautioning you, so... Stay optimistic, guys, but pay attention to the red flags as well, okay? What messages can you give me for my Cancerian soul tribe, please? What are the messages and advice for my soul tribe, Cancerians? At the bottom of the deck, purification stayed. So some of you definitely need to do some spiritual baths because you are cleansing or healing some uh, toxic issues from your past life karma. And this is hereditary. So this could have been um, generations of the same behavior patterns that are needing to be healed and detoxed and purified. And with promise, the new moon, there will be love and happiness again. So some of you guys are going to find out that you're going to get what you want or been manifesting.
to come in. What messages can you give me and advice can you give me for my cancers, please? Yep. Like I said, some chakras. Yin and yang. So we definitely have divine counterparts. 22, and that's a four, stability. 37 is 10, So um, and one plus zero is one, so that's a restart. Third chakra. So some of you, you need to work on healing your third chakra. And your sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, that's what I was saying about the seven of pen pentacles. Some of you, because of a broken heart, and this could go back as far as childhood, where some of you guys have had your um, heart chakra closed and blocked off because of patterns of ways and things that you saw growing up maybe as children in your young adult years of your first love, or it could have been a marriage or a long-term committed relationship once you became an adult and you are now healing all of these um, imbalances that have caused a lot of heartache and heartbreak and self-sabotage in love and relationships. So we're going to see what the Ascended Masters will say regarding what advice that they can give me for you guys. What is the messages for my Cancerian Soul Tribe Ascended Masters? Oh God, what guidance can you give them? Seems like you got a lot. At the bottom of the deck, it says, open your heart to love, Jesus. Okay, let's see what your messages are. Balance career and home life. I did see that in the reading. Crystals. So, Eponya is um, asking you to uh, get some amethyst crystals to help balance and protect. And that also allows you to focus to amethyst. Energy healing. So Merlin is also saying that some of your chakras are out of alignment. Choose peace in this situation. Positive changes will come. Paravati. I can't say the other one's name, so I'm not going to even try. Some of you need to go now. Serapis Bay. Meditate. So some of you could have healing with a mother, wife, sister, daughter, Lady Nada, or if you're a masculine, reverse the roles, and peace offering, white buffalo calf woman. So some of you definitely want to come back in and offer someone peace and love and an opportunity with a new start. You want your soulmate back or your divine counterpart. What are the messages, Archangels, for my Cancerian soul tribe, please? What is the advice? I guess y'all figured since the Ascended Masters had so much to say, y'all was just going to keep it simple. <laughs> okay, chakra clearing. Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometrical shapes. Guys, I, this is that this is the oracle messages, chakra, chakra, chakras, and I could hear it in the reading, and I saw it in your reading. So it's definitely um, some chakras are out of alignment. Also, take back your power, Archangel Azrael. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Um, Archangel Michael already said you can do it, so I have no doubt in my mind that you guys got this. All right, Cancer. I hope this message resonated for somebody. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends and coworkers. You can find me on Facebook as Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin. You can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. And you can find me here on uh, YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. All right, soul family. I love you. You guys take care of yourself. Stay blessed. Peace.